All right, people, we are here driving back on the illustrious, beautiful, scenic BQE. Logan Black here, the boss man, Joey B, currently sharing, not texting. In the back, we've got Isaiah Wolf. What's going on, people? If you're uh, checking this out, what's going on? How's it going? Feel free to like, share, you know, all that happy stuff that we love from you. We were actually just uh, having a conversation about music. Uh, on here, kind of off the subject of uh, of wrestling. As usual, I'm sure we'll get to wrestling. And if you guys are going to ask wrestling questions, please feel free. Jump on in with you know all of your wrestling, you know questions, queries, and comments uh, for all things. But uh, yeah, we were talking about uh, how neither of us can stand Bono from U2. They just played a show at MetLife Stadium, right? I didn't say I can't stand him. I yeah. just said Joey B I was sitting. Like the way he was saying all these awful now. things about Irish people in general. You know, I was saying, I, I think Bono comes off as a bit of a tool. I mean, they made some great music in the 80s, but there's really nothing right, that jumps out. Saying. Josh the Tree, I think it was a great album. After that, it was kind of had a few good hits here and there. But, like, yeah, zoology, it's like, whatever the fuck that album is. Well, look, uh, Hold Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me, this uh, one, whatever it is. I like, I like that. So that's yeah, a good, like that's that. a cool tune right there. I can I get it's behind that. Game? No, I think that's their song. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, Smash... Uh, Offspring did a Smash It Up for that movie. That's a cover. Yes. Smash It Up is a cover. Smash It Up originally by The Damned, a wonderful punk rock right, band right, from right, England. Right, right. Um, Dane, opening, and actually, you gotta listen to Dan verse, way better. Uh, Joey Matthias class was easy to stand out of the Rumble match from the last show. More Matthias. Who said that? Uh, Dane. Are you gonna White Castle, maybe a burger or something? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll go, go that way. I'll, I'll direct you once we get there. So, yeah, no, I think Matthias definitely, uh, was a, a definite standout. Matthias Glass is a uh, that guy's got a bright he's got a bright future. A, uh, as we pass by Williamsburg, New York, which I'm sure he's uh, he's praying in one of the many synagogues in uh, in Williamsburg right now. I tell him he's got to brush up on his Yiddish. He was gonna chill out over there. Ah, so yeah, I was saying that uh, I think Bono and his like stage getup of his leather jacket and. Uh, glasses and all that uh, fashionable stuff. Unless you're Joy Ramone, your ass needs to not be getting dressed up on stage. That. He's got to still be I think he still think does you're it. you're talking like 15 years ago. Too. It's not definitely not 15 years ago. He was doing that shit. He goes on fucking... He goes on TV now and in his, all the interviews that I see him do, he's in the same fucking like, costume. Come on, how many leather jackets do you own, motherfucker? Oh yeah, Gogo Burdell is kick ass. They play Brooklyn all the time. I don't, I don't remember the last time I've seen them, but I saw them uh, open up for somebody years ago. I haven't been to a show in age. Oh, actually, I have. That's a lie. I saw Thrice, Rise Against, and Deftones. Deftones are always a phenomenal live band. Um, but I believe I'm going to Rancid, Dropkick Murphys, and Bouncing Souls. Am I the only punk in the Northeast that can't fucking stand the Bouncing Souls? Somebody join me in that. I haven't heard of them. Uh, Bouncing I've heard Souls? Of Rancid, I heard of. Uh... Dropkick Murphy, I've never heard of Bouncing Souls. Yeah, it was a, um, no, you've heard of Bouncing Souls. They uh, sang Ole Ole. Oh, okay. Now, you know that song. I do. Yeah, they, they sang that. Um, it's jerk off. Oh, come on with this horse shit. Fucking asshole. So now I guess we're getting to the point uh, yeah, where... I'm surrounded by these green what? cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jerk off. <laughs> what pisses off Joey today? Christ. Apparently, cabs. Green fucking cabs. With good reason. That cab was a dude. Just stopped short right in front of us and kind of fucked us over. But yeah. No, Jack, I'm serious. There's got bound to be somebody else in the Northeast that doesn't like the Bouncing Souls. I don't know. Musically, they're fine. I've seen them live, I believe, two times. And both times it looked like they were just bored. They didn't want to be there. It's like, that's not a live show I enjoy. I don't know, I've seen Guara a whole bunch of times. Guara is like the best live show ever. There's so much fucking fun. It's interactive. It's great. Not for me. I know. You prefer the Jewish clowns. I do. Definitely do. I know. So I mean, a lot of other people. Too. I'm just saying, 60 year old men sticking their tongues out. They are. They Ooh. still fucking sound good live. Ask your uncle. Ooh, they call me Dr. Love! Which uncle was that that I seen there? Uh, Michael Joe. Right. Yeah, they're, they're a super popular band. You can't take that away from it. Doesn't mean they're no, not I fucking. Said, ask him how they sound. They sound. They probably one of sound the best sounding. Band I'm alive. sure that they do. I seen when they when they like Wilds, uh, Black Label Society. Yeah, they're terrible. Okay, so they opened up for I think Judas Priest. Judas Priest was great that night. Yeah, Priest is always but, good. But uh, Zach Wild band, they were horrible. That was uh, and, and maybe if they played a club, a different story. But That's what I've been told. Is that Continental? 
I've been told they're better. Uh, they're well, better at, at clubs, but I don't know. I've seen Black Lip Society twice, and they were just this is kind of crappy. I'm not a fan. I like that one song. That's it. I don't. Know, I liked Zach Wilde's guitar playing when I was really playing guitar and serious about it. He was probably the biggest influence on me. I'm a huge fan of the Pinch harmonics, but uh, Zach Wilde's biggest thing that he, in my opinion, that he did was the. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, no more tears on Ozzy. I love that fucking song. I know you hate it. That song, that, that album I love, that song, I'm just sick of. It's like oh. Sad But True by Metallica. I'm just like, I don't need to hear that again. That was, no, no, Wherever I May Roam was the uh-huh. ECW entrance for literally, if it was your debut show and you didn't know, like, if the fans didn't know you, that was your entrance theme. Oh, really? Yeah. That that album, we're talking about music, that black album, the great album. Yeah. And here, I'll date myself here. Yeah. I don't care if I ever hear the first side of that album ever again. The second side, yes. Yeah. Like, uh, Through the Never and After. Yeah. But I'm, I, I've heard at the Sam and all that shit. So many, I'm forget. MTV would play them songs over. Uh, dude, listen, I, I lived through that too. I remember. Christ. That's why I can't listen to Nevermind by Nirvana. All their other albums. I love. No, no, I, I, I'm not. I didn't really listen much to Nirvana. So I know you weren't a Nirvana fan, but I, I grew up a Nirvana fan. I'm a huge I'm Nirvana fan. Still, still a huge that, Nirvana right? fan. Um, but I can't listen to Nevermind because it was so overplayed my entire life. Yeah, I'd rather listen to that than Bleach or any of this shit. Dude, Bleach is a fucking, is fucking unbelievable shit. record. Some, I follow this guy. Oh, plug album is, isn't bad. So I, my next show, I'll be in Western Massachusetts this weekend, Stacy. Saturday, Barroom Brawl, myself and Teddy Goods. Check out all my social media. I got a promo up for it. So check that out and then come down and say hi. We've got uh, East Coast Bastard Crew shirts too. So check it out. <laughs> uh, Jack, you're a cunt. Uh, so, so, you know, if I follow this guy on YouTube who uploads all this um, old concert footage. Um... Yeah, all this like all this old like punk footage and like new wave stuff, and he just started doing like all this uh, this grunge stuff, so like Soundgarden and Mud Honey and like Mother Love Bone, all that shit like that. And he's put up like all of Nirvana shows, like a ton of them from like '88 and '89. Like one of them playing a fucking Radio Shack and one of them playing like record stores, and it's like fuck, they fucking rocked that Bleach album. I, anybody who, you know. Listen to any of that shit. Check out Bleach, even if you don't like it. Bleach is a good record. Very different sound than Nevermind. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I hope Kelsey doesn't cry again. Uh, let's get a picture of, uh, you know, the two normal people in the East Coast. Actually, no, I don't even know if they're going to be there. But at least get one with me and the kid. Kids love me. She was uh, scared of uh, the other one. She was scared of um, Leary. I'm, I'm put my money on it. Uh, Dan, friend and I went to see the Pixies about two years ago. Apparently, they changed lead singers without my knowledge. It's added off. They did the baser and it just didn't sound right. I can imagine. The Pixies? I've just, I, I've, as I've gotten older, I've started listening to the Pixies a little bit. They're fine. Um, yeah, Jack doesn't like Bob Dylan either. I'm just gonna honk at people, you fucking asshole. Anyway, probably, probably, apparently nothing but assholes in the fucking. Come on, you fuck. Apparently there's nothing but fucking assholes on the road today. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was I was never I was never raised with Bob Dylan, so I can't necessarily yeah, say I'm a huge fan. Mirror. Oh, blocking Joey's mirror apparently. But yeah, no, I wasn't raised on that shit, so I can't. Uh, what, but, uh, what I wasn't it? really raised. Was it in the 90s? Who? Pixies? Pixies? Late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, see, a lot of them bands in the 90s. Yeah, no, you were you were listening to uh, the Poison and yeah. No, no. Joe, Justin, Joe told me, don't let him tell you different. I he was to it. He yeah, was like, a huge fan of Cinderella. No, no. I, Joe no. loved, listen, winger, Joe still has a winger shirt. <laughs> Dude, go back, look at the pictures that everyone don't took. Don't get me wrong, I know all these groups, but I never liked either one of those groups. Poison. Head for a heartache. Poison Who is that? One thing. Who did Head for a Heartache? Heart who did that song? That's Winger. Bring it on the See? Heart. See? Dude knows it. I He's know a huge it's... Winger fan. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Dude was wearing a Winger shirt at the never, barbecue. Check the pictures. I'm telling you. I never owned a Winger oh, shirt. Shit. Ever. Okay. Telling you. Huge Winger fan. Anyway. But yeah. No. That stuff was awesome. I don't know. I can't get behind a lot of that 80s. It just seems like fucking laughable to me. Mada? I guess... I, no, no, not that. But fucking That's made, the 80s. No, nah, I'm talking oh, about all the shit that was popular. Shit. Sorry. You know what I mean? It's all good. Metallica wasn't popular? You know what I No, actually, Metallica really hit their popularity in the late 80s, early 90s. So what was popular in the 80s? They that, that... got Viper. Yes, they do got Viper. Uh, uh, Wolf here talking about the Mae Young classic. And yes, they do have Viper. 
from uh, from the UK. Hey, I love watching an ice. Jerry's first entrance song. Don't know what you got till it's gone by Cinderella. I know. It's this what I've been saying. Who's entrance song? Your first entrance who wrote song. That? Who wrote Dame. That? I don't know who that is. He's a fan. He's been to come to our shows. My first entrance songs was Victory by uh, a Big Ear Puffy, whoever the fuck. Puff Daddy featuring Busta Rhymes and uh, Notorious B.I.G. Hey, yeah, no, I um, I, don't, I grew up, and uh, my fiance, she grew up on the Beatles and stuff. So when like, the Beatles would come on, she's a huge fan of that stuff. And I know a lot of people do. She grew I, up on the Beatles? What is, what is Leah, 50, 60? When her parents oh. played nothing but like the Beatles around the house. And a lot of that, like, that stuff. I wasn't raised with that. My dad... Listen to fucking like K Rock. Well, well, he did a lot of Black Sabbath, uh, all the, everything on K Rock. Like the first album that I told How him. How long has K Rock been gone now? Oh, fucking way too long. We don't have rock radio in New York. We don't. Uh, East Coast Bass Crew only has one shirt, Zeno, um, and it's being exclusively sold in uh, New England because that's the only place the East Coast Bass Crew grows light, uh, unless anyone requests. Um. And again, the Apostles of Chaos only has uh, one shirt, and they're being sold in New York, which is the only place you can see the Apostles of Chaos at the moment. Uh, you know, I was raised on like a lot, of, you know, that the grunge and stuff like that. The first album that I sent my father out to go get, he got me the Black album. The kid, I was going to summer camp, and a uh, kid had a Walkman. Again, I'm dating myself at this point. A Walkman with cassette tapes, and I said, "What are you listening to?" And he put the headphones on, and it was uh, Injustice for All. Uh, and I was like, I, my homework to, I like, I like this. To those albums. I like this a lot. So I sent my, you know, Dad, I like Metallica. And like, y you couldn't see a smile a any bigger. Where am I going, Jake? You getting a burger? Or yeah, what? we're gonna. I'll direct you. Right. Um, yeah. So. Well, yeah. actually, with Injustice for All, oh my, I got, I had Master Master Puppets. I was in fifth grade, but Injustice for All, the one song one is the first video that Metallica did. So you really didn't have airplay with them on MTV. They used to play videos. Right, like I said, they were not popular until the late, late 80s, early 90s. Because yeah, yeah. MTV broke well, everybody. Well, in the 90s, in the early 90s when it became trendy, Metallica. Everybody was a Metallica fan. Make, make it right to life? Yeah, take them right here. Yeah, they do. Uh, Zeno, feel free to uh, shoot me a message. We could talk about PayPal. I'll mail the shirt out to you uh, if you'd like one of those. So, we're probably going to cut this short here because we're going to make a couple turns and I'm going to get myself some dinner. Um, check out the Mae Young Classic. Support women's wrestling because uh, this is going to be really kick-ass. A lot of really fucking amazing girls uh, on this show who are just going to kill it. Check this out is, Women of Warriors. And check out... Ex that's the, called the transition, Joe. You don't have to be any Andrew flow about it. And, of course, if you're going to support women's wrestling, there's no other place to go than Women of Warriors. Check us out. On YouTube, Facebook, all over the place. Warriors of Wrestling. Check out Women of Warriors exclusively on Facebook and everything that we've got going on up there. Got a show coming up. All the, the matches are starting to get announced. Uh, Nyla the Destroyer, Nyla Rose, coming through. She is going to be wrestling against Holiday. That is going to be a fucking banger. They're going to murder each other in Staten Island. It's a match you don't want to miss. Uh, lots of other really cool stuff uh, set to be announced soon, so please stay uh, peeled with that. Uh... Words of Wrestling on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, check us out. Check me out, King of Chaos NYC, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, check me out. This weekend, I will be at Pioneer Valley Pro Wrestling uh, at Max Cap in Massachusetts. Barroom Brawl, myself and Teddy Goods. Next Thursday, I will be Five Borough Wrestling. Me and Bam Sullivan going to be kicking some ass. So please check us out for myself, for the boss man, for Isaiah Wolf watching the May Young Classic right now. Signing off. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week.